Welcome to Spiritual Fertility Series, Miscarriage and Stillbirth. Please watch the Spiritual Fertility Origins and Social Contract videos before watching this video for context. This is a very sensitive subject. My heart goes out to all women that have had a miscarriage or stillbirth or lost a child. Even though there is so much pain and anguish surrounding this subject, we must explain this from a spiritual perspective with courage, authenticity, and truth. Our ego doesn't understand miscarriage the same way the soul does. The ego interprets it as a failure, a rejection, a death. Our ego only knows how to communicate in this world of duality. The soul understands the whole picture, the quantum picture, and the why. As I, as I explain the spiritual side, please keep this in mind. The spiritual reasons for miscarriage and stillbirth are not what we expect to hear, so they take time to process. Going back to our video about soul contracts, the soul that is about to become Earthside agrees to move forward. A miscarriage is a soul deciding to terminate their side of the contract and retreat back into the soul world. Most miscarriages happen within the first trimester as the first three months are a very pivotal time for the spirit baby. The spirit baby is given the first three months to decide whether they want to stay in the soul contract and manifest onto planet Earth. Because we live on a free will planet, souls are allowed to make their own decisions and opt out of the soul contract or the conception contract. A few reasons for miscarriage are the soul is not ready yet to incarnate on Earth. The spirit baby rejects the embryo because there is a defect. The choices made by the mother or father during the first trimester are not in alignment with the baby. Like medication choices, substance abuse, barraged with radiation, x-ray, or EMF, which is electromagnetic frequencies. In the past 80 plus years, the veil has been thinning between the soul world and the earth plane, also known as the third and fifth dimension. It's so thin that souls coming in start to feel the burden of the past life emotions, feelings, and difficult incarnations they previously had on earth while accepting a new body to incarnate into. To become a human being, a body needs a soul. The soul has the first three months to attach to a body because the connection becomes so heavy to the spirit baby. They disconnect in the first trimester, which is the most delicate and frequent time for miscarriages to occur. It has become harder and harder for the spirit baby to cope with transition of coming Earthside. The veil used to be very thick and dense, which offered the spirit baby what is known as amnesia during reincarnation. All emotions, all feelings, and all distress was blocked. In the past 80 plus years, give or take, this heavy duress rides in on the soul and transfers to the body within the first three months. An older soul, an older, more experienced soul, may be able to handle this amount of stress at such a fragile time, but a new soul, a less experienced soul, will reject the body of the baby, causing a miscarriage to occur. Earth is the most difficult planet to live on out of all the planets in our Milky Way. Our galaxy is the most difficult galaxy out of all the galaxies in our universe. And our universe is the most difficult universe out of all the universes. Do you see what I'm saying here? It's a major challenge to live on Earth. It's not a whimsical decision for the soul 
but it gives the soul the most growth potential. When souls go back and forth on their decision multiple times, this results in multiple miscarriages. This can be devastating for the mother and father to be. The feelings created by miscarriage are heavy and full of sorrow. Many women feel as though their body gave up on them. It's never your fault. A spontaneous miscarriage is the soul's decision. This never means they don't love you and want to be with you. They just need more time. In some cases with miscarriage, the same soul comes back as a successful pregnancy. The term rainbow baby is used to define a baby born after a loss. In the case of a stillbirth, a life that is a few minutes old or even a few seconds old versus a life that is 90 plus years old. This is the same to a soul. They get the same value and experience out of both. Again, very hard to believe from a human perspective, but the soul knows exactly when to leave the body and it's always based on their free will. Some souls want to experience the birthing process only. It is said that many of these souls are highly evolved souls that do not want a life on earth. They just want to experience being in a body for a short period of time. So be gentle with yourself. Never give, up, never give up on your desires. Feel free to take a break, but don't give up. You are worthy of your dream coming true, to have a family of your own. Forgive your body if you have resentment. Forgive your womb if you have deep anger and sorrow. Forgive your spirit baby and welcome them, for that is what unconditional love is. Please send or share this with a mom or dad you know who has gone through a miscarriage. I hope they find comfort and peace. I am able to help with healing services. You're not alone. Stay tuned for more information about spiritual fertility. For a full list of healing sessions, virtual classes, and meditations, visit my website, www.fromfertility.com. To delivery.com. Many blessings to you today and every day.